<clears throat> so I had a like a congenital condition, um, and it made like the the bone on like my pelvis on both sides grow, like a little extra. Um, and they hit the labrums and tore the labrums, um, so they had to shave down the bone and then reattach the labrum. So that is Alejandro. He wasn't raised in a good household, like a really not good household. And as weird as it sounds, that's part of the reason why I love him so much. By every stretch of the imagination, this kid was destined to fail. From where he was raised, how he was raised, his friend group, and a ton of other factors, he was pretty much set up to fail. I used to work at a children's foundation where I came into contact with Alejandro a few years ago, and after hearing his story, I was really surprised at how willing he was to change. He was a little overweight, he was angry, and he didn't work very hard. And because of that, what I expected from him is what I expected from a lot of the other kids there, which was anytime you came to them with advice, it would be met with resistance. The goal of the foundation was to help empower these kids to try and change their life for the better. And let's be real, when have you ever gone to someone with advice and they just listened and all of the problems were solved? I don't know why, but Alejandro was very different. If you told him to do things, he would do them. It's not like he was perfect, but if I told him something would make things better for himself, he would at least try. Today, Alejandro is on a full scholarship attending Dartmouth University. Kids in situations like his don't make it, and they definitely don't make it to Ivy League schools. So here's the bad news. He texted me a week ago telling me what his budget was, asking if I could build him a gaming PC and get him a good monitor, which I thought was kind of weird because a couple years ago, I actually got him a laptop, which was good enough to do the job. and since he won't be able to move for a while, he wanted to have a good computer while he heals. That 960 GPU from back then is definitely not gonna get the job done. And with the new 3000 series cards out, I think now is the perfect time to surprise him again. But why just surprise him? Why don't we surprise you guys too? If you watch till the end of the video, I might have something for you guys. And while you're here, let's be sure to thank the people who made this video possible for Alejandro as well as for you. This video is sponsored by Honey. Honey is a browser extension that applies coupon codes to your cart when you're about to check out. The best part is it's free. Let me show you something. You see those nano leaves back there? That was supposed to cost me $1,200. But because I had Honey installed, it dropped the price by $200. I don't think I need to explain this to you, but having Honey installed should be a no-brainer. They have over 17 million users, have saved people over $2 billion, and support over 30,000 stores online. By not having Honey installed, you are passing up on a lot of free money. Imagine every time you check out and it saves you a dollar or two, or in my case, a whole lot more. You're going to have a lot of extra money saved up that you can do whatever you want with. So if you want to start saving money for yourself, go to joinhoney.com slash Christopher Yee right now and install it. It takes literally a couple clicks. Anyways, thanks again to Honey for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to the rest of it. This is the RTX 3080. It is Nvidia's newest graphics card. At this point, pretty much every tech YouTuber has gone over the performance and FPS of this card. And in case you haven't seen a good benchmarks video, I'm not gonna do one here, but I'll direct you over to Jay's Two Cents video. He did an excellent job showing the performance of this thing. But in case you don't have the time for that, I'll quickly explain this graphics card, the RTX 3080, if you compared it to last series best card, the RTX 2080 Ti, it gets the same exact FPS of that card an entire resolution higher. And that's the fact that the 2080 Ti at 1080p was roughly the same FPS as the 3080 at 1440. In English, that means this card is amazing. But enough about the card, let's talk about Alejandro's system. So last week when he did text me asking about a computer, 
I pretty much ordered parts right away that I knew would suit him and his needs. On top of that, we were also able to keep everything under the budget that he asked for of $700. Not that it matters, because his dumbass won't be paying for it. But for his system, this is what we're putting inside. We have a Ryzen 5 2600X, which is a six core, 12 thread processor. But instead of using the stock cooler, I wanted to make it look a little bit nicer. So we're actually using an AMD Wraith Prism, the RGB cooler. For the motherboard, we're putting it inside of an ASRock B450M. It is a micro ATX motherboard, and it might look a little bit goofy inside the case that we're gonna be using, but I still think it's gonna look nice. For the SSD, we're using a Crucial M.2 with 500 gigabytes of space. And for the RAM, we are using Corsair Vengeance 16 gigs, two by eight, clocked at 3200 megahertz speed. For the power supply, we are using a Thermaltake 500 watt power supply. I did want to use something a little bit nicer, but unfortunately getting power supplies and then also getting good power supplies in America is pretty difficult right now. For the case, we are actually using a Lian Lian Cool 215. Uh, it's a beautiful case. It doesn't show that way right now, but we still have to unpack it. But when it's all said and done, this thing will look amazing. For the graphics card of this computer, we're actually gonna be using a GTX 1080. This is one of the best deals that I've ever gotten off of Craigslist a year ago. I picked this up almost brand new for $200. Whoa. What? But Chris, you just introduced the RTX 3080. Why are we going back to generate? Listen, I am aware of what Alejandro wants to use the computer for. Fortnite and Warzone don't need something so amazing that we need to go beyond a GTX 1080. With that being said, I still might have some plans to make sure that this RTX 3080 does surprise a stranger, but we're not gonna talk about that right now. Three, two, one. Dude, check out this front panel. Lee and Lee's actually killing it. This is so sick. We got our death squad facing out. That only took like 25 minutes. That was sick. I'm going to install Windows and then we got one thing left. The best part. Okay, so we finally finished the PC. It's packed up, it's ready to go. It's got Windows, the drivers. I'm gonna let him install the games because I don't know what he wants to do with that. And we also hooked him up with a monitor. We got this Scepter monitor on Amazon. Address is done on the side. Uh, it's a 25 inch monitor and it gets up to 165 Hertz. So he'll definitely have the FPS to game on this system. And we're gonna go take it over to him right now. Uh. You know what's weird with how little I've left the house? I wonder if one day, like, when it's all done, I'm gonna be like, you know what, maybe I spent too much time on the PC. Probably not this year. Probably not this year. Uh, hey, we're here, okay, let's do it. Please leave your map. Mother f Yeah. Hello. You finished doing video show, how are you? Good. How are your hips? No, he's, um, I think he's fighting with his girlfriend. That's a lot! Because we, we just did video stuff and he's been at my place for like the last few days. Do you want to see the computer rebuild for someone? Sure. So, uh, do you know who Lily Pichu is? No. Okay, well, that's just rude. Who? <laughs> it was funny, it was actually like Hadrian. Hadrian used to bully the shit out of me. Jeff, Brendan, pretty much everybody. And then what happened was, is, um, when I was having like a really bad week, like thoughts at like an all time high, I randomly reached out to her on Facebook. I said, will you play a game with me? It's my birthday. And she said like, you know, no. But then she eventually said yes. Yeah. And then now, 10 years later, I'm trying to surprise her with this PC. Mm -hmm. And the surprise is, is that um, <laughs> it's actually not her PC, it's yours. We built it, we built it under the budget. Do you wanna see? Yeah. Check it out. Eh. You undo it. I'm not gonna undo it. Oh. You're not gonna. You're not gonna peel it either. You know how mean you are. I 
Come on. And on top of it, we got this for a pretty good dude tool. This is a 165 hertz monitor. Mm -hmm. So you're probably bad at video games and it won't matter. But at least <laughs> you'll be able to see yourself die in 165 frames per second. It was under, I think it was under the $700 you asked for. So it's all good. It's pity. It's done. Oh, and you got a nice little cooler that goes RGB too. Jokes aside, I wanted to, um, I, felt, I, just, I felt bad because I know one of the things that was like emphasized with you, like what, 16 through 20 or even how, how old are you now? I'm going to turn 20 next week. Okay, yeah, well, so yeah, 16 through you, 20 years old in the future um, is like, you know, tennis, 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 tennis. And then like it got to a certain point where, you know, it was just emphasized nothing but tennis. And then, you know, when something like this happens and it kind of takes it away from you, it's just like, okay, well, like, what the fuck am I supposed to do now? Yeah. And the good news is <laughs> that it doesn't own, life doesn't only need to be about tennis, even though like probably at 20, I wanted the same thing that you did is just tennis. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, life has a funny way of like taking things away from you. But I feel like also at the same time, it gives things to you too. Not like hands it out like a, like a computer. <laughs> but I don't know, it kind of gives you like a, like a little cre like a crack of an open door where it's just like, hey, you can do this too. Um, and like whatever you do with it is up to you. Like yeah. you could throw your soul away for Twitch and YouTube content and see how that turns out. <laughs> or you could do something else. But in the meantime, while you're healing and stuff, I wanted to uh, make sure that you had a nice thing to kind of kill time while you do that. Because I can imagine after the second hip is cut open that you're oh, just yeah. gonna be sitting a lot, so. But yeah. I'll see you at the barbecue. Right, thanks. <laughs> you better. See ya. Don't be late to your meeting. All right. See you guys. Thanks. He paid us in green tea. What a spoiled bitch. <laughs> that was cute. That was cute. I, I didn't, he was like, I'm kind of glad that was caught like off camera where he's just like, oh yeah, so like Venmo or PayPal. I was like, <laughs> but yeah. Well, so here's the thing. We actually didn't surprise him with an RTX 3080. Chris, that's kind of a move. You showed off this nice graphics card and you're not gonna give it to him? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm a really bad guy and I lied about the clickbait. But you know what? Let's justify it. Let's actually make it work. So here's the deal. I could keep it and trust me, I really, really, really want to, but I'm not gonna. I am going to put this card up to someone who wants it, to someone who needs it. Couple rules, subscribe to this YouTube channel. I know a lot of the people that watch it actually are not subbed, which is fine. It's free content, do whatever you wanna do. But if you want the card, sub this channel and then head over to my Twitter. I'm gonna post and pin a tweet at the top where you know you either retweet it or like it or blah, blah, blah. I'll make up the rules there. Sub the YouTube channel, go to the Twitter. All the rules will be self-explanatory. We'll do first week of October. We're gonna give it away. I know no one is able to get these cards right now because people are trying to buy them up. They're trying to make bots and just snag everything. We'll give it away first week of October. So I'll post all the rules and stuff and, and you'll be able to see it. it'll be really self-explanatory. Anyways, I hope you guys found the video creative, entertaining or informative in any way, shape or form. Me and Will are melting. It's like 500 degrees in this car. I'm gonna get going. I hope you have a great day.